here and welcome back to a brand new Sims 4 Speedwheel on the channel and today I've got for you a bit like a smaller a smaller video it's not gonna be like 30 minutes I believe it's gonna be something around 10 minutes only however just look at it we are already starting getting into the business by taking one amazing item from the debug and yes the whole build here is around it I saw that just I don't have even the words to describe it, just magnificent of a luxury yacht object in the debug uh, menu and I said wait, wait, wait a minute, we gotta try it. Now you know that I, I previously in the past I've created myself some yachts and and, and I, I created a luxury yacht and party yacht, uh, something like that. And I said, wait a minute, if we have one debug item that is already a big, beautiful luxury yacht, why not and try and create out of it something usable, something uh, functional? And that is exactly what we are doing here today. So I took it out to, uh, and to be honest, it was a test. I wasn't even quite sure if it's going to be usable because sometimes when you're taking a debug item or a live edit object item and bring it outside and, and then you do your whole your whole testing on it, you'll end up, um, I don't know, figuring out that it is unusable and the sims might um, had, have some sort of clash with it and it cannot go through it and that's not the case, people. This build is going to be fully functional. Well, not exactly fully functional because the inside of the yacht is still something that you cannot really access but I said why not to try and use the decks of the yacht to create some sort of a build and my build is gonna be yeah it's gonna be some sort of a love boat no wait a minute love boat doesn't sound exactly what I had in mind it sounded a bit more naughty no that's not a love boat <laughs> it's not a love boat it's gonna be wedding boat okay Let's, let's take it over there. Let's take it to that direction. It's gonna be a... Uh, okay. It's gonna be a wedding a wedding boat. A wedding yacht. But uh, honestly, you actually can some sort of a mimic whatever I did over here. And maybe create your own design for that yacht. Because that yacht is in the new pack. In the debug section. You just need to grab it out. Uh, do some sort of a mimic whatever I'm doing here with the exterior of it and then just fill the inside of it or the decks with what you want it to be. It can be also a party party house, not party house, but you know, party yacht. It can be like a club, maybe a bar, it can be beach bar, you know what I mean? Uh, it can be just a random yacht. Um, parking in the marina down the um, at the beach of, of the brand new map so yeah many many things you can actually do with this yacht from the debug section and to be honest I just love it, it, it it's not a big build like I usually do um, but uh, when I saw that item in the debug section I just had to try and see if it if it's gonna work and it is so I really hope you're gonna enjoy this wedding Avenue yeah this is a new thing with the new pack uh, for those of you who are not aware of uh, the, of the new pack you now have a wedding Avenue that uh, will function as basically like a rental I guess for partying uh, something that we had in the game but now it's official it's official wedding Avenue so, and some information about the build, we are in the new map called Tertosa, I believe, I, I hope I said it right, It more of a European vibe to me, giving me even some sort of a Northern Italy vibe, maybe? I'm not quite sure, uh, but uh, let, let me know what type of place around the world this map uh, gives you um, the, the vibe, and, and uh, you know what, I just love this map. I just love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It is a bit less um, city vibe, which I, I really, I really enjoy. Just taking my sim over here to to a stroll, and I gotta tell you that I have few other builds that might even work great in this map. Maybe the vineyard that I created can go great in this map. I'm not quite sure that. 
honestly, I don't think we have a 64 by 64 on this lot. I uh, on this lot on this map. I think that the biggest lot is 50 by 50. So yeah, that might be a problem. I believe the vineyard is 50 by 50. However, I've created a starter uh, vineyard. If you miss that, you definitely want to go and check that out because it will fit perfectly to this map. It is a starter vineyard where you can actually create some fizz stuff. You have uh, uh, um, you have some nice balcony from uh, from uh, the edge of your house to the vineyard and the fizz uh, machine is n near next to it. So definitely a great starter home for you to actually add to this map. It will fit perfectly I believe. And yeah, so, so we are in the new map and uh, this lot, specifically this lot, is the only lot that is, um, I believe, 40 by 20, which is not the typical type of or size of the lot that we are getting in, in, in the game. 40 by 20 is, is really not the default um, lots. 30 by 30 is, is maybe the default size lot that we usually get in, in, in packs. And 40 by 40, 40 by 30 by 20. 40 by 20, it's definitely not, not you, you know what I mean? Um, but I just love it because it, 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 frickly, frickly, it is perfectly fitting for this yacht. And I even used the pawn tool over here to try and maybe give the illusion of the water that used to be in, in, in this bitch, maybe a bit higher and the, the sea retracted inside or something like that and the yacht got stuck or something and they just converted it into a wedding yacht uh, for your sim. You can also create, as I said, you can create some sort of a nightclub from it and stuff like that. Now, when I said at the beginning that you cannot build inside of the yacht, that's not exactly true because if you're gonna zoom in with um, with your mouse inside you will notice that the yacht right now yeah if you notice it the yacht will vanish so you basically can also build inside and you can play inside it will be a bit tricky however it is possible so just know that put it in your mind and and maybe you know just do some testing right now you can see that the yacht just vanished so you can see what is going on inside of the yacht but i definitely try to to keep the build uh, on the decks only. So we had the um, the ceremony area, we're gonna have, right now you can see me creating the, uh, the bar area where you can get something to drink, and on the upper deck you're gonna have a dancing floor with seating floor, seating floor, <laughs> seating areas, um, for sims to order something to to get something to eat, you know what you know what I mean, or or just I don't know. I'm not quite sure how the whole pack is is uh, functioning right now because I, I I didn't really had the time to take the full gameplay um, to a spin uh, of, of this pack yet. Um, but I, I'm definitely gonna do that soon. So if you need to do some tweaks and changes uh, for your sims to actually get married and have the whole ceremony and the uh, the eating part and stuff like that, just do it in, in the game and uh, I'm sure it's still going to work, right? So you can see that right now we're creating the DJ area with a dancing floor, some flowers around, going to be some uh, laser with some lights and uh, some uh, speakers, of course, for the music. And I can guarantee to you that this build is 100% functional. So you can do that. One thing that we are missing is a restroom. But I believe that near this area there are public restrooms. So just run over there and do your thing. Um, I did try to keep it neat and without any other stuff in here um, that, that are not supposed to, to, to be. So just make sure that your sims don't need to go to number one or two in, in their middle of their ceremony, right? Just make sure that that won't happen. <laughs> Anyway, we are getting closer to the end of this video, and I really hope that you enjoy this uh, this tiny uh, tiny build. It's not really tiny because the, the the yacht isn't tiny, but you know what I mean. It's not the long one. It is some sort of a refreshing short one. Also, I'm really curious to know what do you think about the new pack? Do you enjoy it? Are you happy with it? Um, just share your thoughts about the new uh, pack that we just received. 
in the comment section be down below. So the build you can get it on the gallery under my ID tag Argitect. Yes, I've changed the ID uh, gallery um, for Argitect. Finally, I managed to do that. And trade file for the cracked version in the description down below for 30 days only. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new here, and then hit the bell notification button so you won't miss any of my future builds. Until the next time, enjoy the tour and I'll see you again at the next build. Keep that team spider going for me because Architect is a signing off. From your body